So now we know what the Pythagorean identity is, we can do a couple of bonus identities that just come full straight out of this. So I've got cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. Now what would happen if I divided everything by cos squared theta? Divided by cos squared theta, divided by cos squared theta equals 1 over cos squared theta. Alright, so simplifying a little bit. Cos squared theta over cos squared theta is 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Well, sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. I could show you this. If I split this up, I get sine theta over cos theta times sine theta over cos theta, which is tan theta over uh, tan theta times tan theta. All is that all that to say that sine th sine squared theta over cos squared theta is equal to tan squared theta. Now, one over cos squared theta. Now we know one over cos theta is sec theta, and one over cos squared theta is sec squared theta. So here's one of our bonus identities. You might want to pause it here and divide everything by sine squared theta and find out what your other bonus identity is. Otherwise, keep watching and I'll do it myself. Bonus identity, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1, dividing everything by sine squared theta Alright, so cos squared theta over sine squared theta. Now that's not going to be um, tan squared theta because it needed to be upside down. It's actually 1 over tan squared theta. Well, you could have jumped straight to cot squared theta. This, though, is just 1 equals 1 over sine squared theta, which is 1 over cosec squared theta. Just last line, fix this up. It's cot squared theta plus 1 equals 1 over cosec squared theta. Alright, there's our two Pythagorean bonus identities. Um, Oops. 1 over sine squared theta is there we go there are our two bonus identities